in uh, Brussels, Belgium. I'm going to preach the gospel uh, for about an hour, and then I'm going to then I'm going to uh, get on the bus and go to Amsterdam. I already got my Amsterdam outfit on. Uh, I was going to preach yesterday, but I ended up spending that time in prayer, and I uh, just have a burden for what's going on in the world. So uh, nothing wrong with spending time with God. So I'm going to see what the Lord wants to do here in uh, Brussels. This nation has been very hurt by the Catholic Church. Uh, lots of pedophile priests in this nation, and I've always wanted to come here. And uh, you know, the Bible says, "Set the captives free." So I pray that many people's eyes will open today to uh, the goodness of God. The goodness of God draws men to repentance. The good news of Jesus Christ. The gospel of Jesus Christ should be proclaimed starting in Jerusalem and to the ends of the earth. The nations need to hear about the goodness of Jesus Christ. The Bible declares in the book of John chapter 3 verse 16 for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life do you want everlasting life? Do you want to know for sure that when you die, your sins will be forgiven? Christianity is more than just another religion. Christianity is the way to heaven. Christianity was founded by Jesus Christ and he's always been. He was there when creation was founded. The Bible said, let us, let us, let us. Speaking from the book of Genesis about creation. And God said, let us make man in our image. First uh, chapter in the Bible, verse 26. And God said, let us make man in our image. Well, who is our? We're talking about the face of God. God has a face. God has a son. Let us make man in our image. Our image is the face of God. Who is the face of God? Belgium. Jesus Christ is the face of God. Jesus Christ is the Son of God, but He's also equal to God. God exalts Jesus high. Jesus Christ is the face of God. The Word of God is Jesus Christ. The Bible became flesh and dwelt among us. The Bible took on legs. That's right. That's one way to look at it. The Bible became flesh and dwelt among us. Why did the Bible become flesh? Because Jesus came to show us the way. He hung out with his disciples for three years. They saw him raise the dead, heal the sick, cast out devils. But yet, Doubting Thomas said, show us the way. He was shocked. After three years, Thomas didn't know the way. And he was hanging with the most awesome man that ever lived. And he's still alive. Jesus said, I am the way. I am the truth. 
I am. I am the life. Hallelujah. No one goes to the Father. Talking about God. No one goes to God the Father except through the Son. That's the Bible. Jesus said, I am. There's that I am again. I am the door. Enter through me. What does that mean? Well, every time you go in the mall, you go through a door. If you want to go through heaven's door, you must go through Jesus Christ. That's good preaching right there. Praise God. Because the blood of Jesus cleanses from all sin. Let me say it again. The blood of Jesus cleanses all sin. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. 